everyone, it's Chris from GameWithSwag.com again, and today we have something very special for you. We have the Oregon Trail card game. Uh, as you may or may not know, this was an educational computer game in the early 1980s. Uh, I personally played one on Apple IIe. None of this fancy color stuff on an old monochrome monitor that was just black and green. So the graphics weren't as nice. However, it was very popular within our school. We used to play this, Number Munchers, Letter Munchers, Odell Lake, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, all those favorites. But this was the most popular. So your job is to get you know, from one point to another across America and follow the Oregon Trail and survive and get your caravan there. There's all different challenges in the game like crossing rivers, shooting um, deer for food and things like that. Uh, it was very interactive for its time, and honestly, I think it was a, a way advanced for its time. Um, so I was really interested to see this. This is made by Pressman Games. It's a two-to-six player card game, uh, and they're using the Oregon Trail license. And it's a Target exclusive. And this poses a problem because it's really hard to find sometimes anything in Target, let alone a tiny little game like this. So, um, just so you know that you may not even see it on the shelf. In fact, I had to do some searching online, and I'll put this in the show notes, of the DCPI number, which is basically the uh, SKU number of the product at Target. This wasn't even on the shelf. They had five of them in the back room. It retails for $10.99, great price. But right now, scalpers are putting these on eBay and Amazon for $50 or $60 a piece, and uh, that's just terrible. So if you need to find one, check the show notes. I'll put the, the link where you can check your local stores and see if you can find one for yourself. The box is really nice. It's a nice glossy box. It tells you what's inside. Um, it just kind of gives you an idea. There's 58 trail cards. There's 32 calamity cards, 26 supply cards, one laminated party roster, uh, one erasable marker, one die, and illustrated instructions. The cool thing I see about this is that when you die, you put your name on a tombstone. So that's pretty neat because uh, it was similar to what's, what was in the game. So we're going to travel the trail. We're going to work together to overcome calamities. We're going to get at least one member of our party to Oregon. We're going to stop to rest. We're going to decide which one of your friends will die of dysentery. We're going to write our name on a tombstone. Okay. So could be any of these things or all of them. So this, again, is me by Preston Games. There's a UPC, and I'll put the target DCPI code inside. All right, so let's unbox this thing. I've already cut the tape on it. There's four pieces of tape that hold the box together. Ah, and there's our game travel guide, trail guide, excuse me. And this is a nice full color pamphlet that shows you how to set up the Oregon Trail game. Very nice. Excellent. All right, I'm not going to go through that right now. I'm going to put this away. Put this right here. Oh, and there's a ad. What are the first names of the members of your party? Cool. So you can write down all your names on the little, it's like a dry erase board. And there's our dry erase marker. We have a custom die. And it has really cool, um, like retro 8 bit numbers, like in the font from the game. That's cool. I like that. So even if you lose this, you can still play with a regular die. That's good. These are our cards. These are the trail cards. Hey, there's the finished card. Congratulations, you made it to Oregon. Okay. And Independence is where we start. I remember that. So Missouri to Oregon. Great. Awesome. Whoa. This is cool. So the first thing I'm going to say off the bat is I love the retro everything about this. They could easily have turned this into a more modern game. You might have seen the Oregon Trail DS game or Wii game. They kind of give it a modern twist. I really like the retro stuff. That's kind of how I roll. Ha! Roll an even number to ford the river. Roll an odd number and lose a supply card. Uh, fording the river. Oh, cool. So you make your trail. Press space bar to continue. Draw a calamity card. Wow. Bunch of river cards, bunch of trail cards. Okay, so these are all the trail cards. That's what these are. Whoop. 
Yeah, there's more Rudolf. Okay, cool. So these are all your trail cards, which I'm assuming that's how you build it. And then they're your town cards as well. And fort cards. Cool. Okay, so those are the trail cards. Mm. Do, 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 do. Put those there, and we'll move those there. And we'll put the fort card there so you can see them. Okay. All right, and then the Calamity card. This is what happens when you're on the trail. Oh my goodness. Medicine. Medicine's probably a good card to have. Ooh, an Oxen card, that's cool. 20 pounds of food, all right. Peaches and flour, that's what everyone needs. I hope that's beer in the keg. Clothes, yeah, you need those. You don't be naked on the Oregon Trail. 100 bullets, yes, this is good. This will help you get food. Clean water, that's important. Spare parts for your wagon. Bad water, flush away bad water with a clean water card. Two bad water cards are collected, then two oxen will die. Uh oh, that's not good. Your oxen drank bad water. That's so cool, just like the game. Starvation, your food supplies are low. Inadequate grass. <laughs> There's inadequate grass to feed your oxen. You're in the desert, you're going to die. <laughs> snake bite. You've died of a snake bite because you've been bitten by a rattlesnake. Dysentery, the worst. You've died of dysentery. Fun fact, I never want to die of dysentery. It's probably very painful. Extreme cold, the temperature is below freezing. You need a clothing card, that makes sense. Broken tongue. This is your uh, your wagon tongue that's broken, not your actual human tongue. Broken wheel, same thing. Looks so like you got a roll to repair. Broken axle, same idea. Thief. Thief steals your supply card. That's not good. Measles. Ugh. Ugh. Gosh. Dive measles. Great. Broken arm. Arms on the mend. Sit out for two rounds. Ooh, that's painful. Dead oxen. Two oxen have died. Typhoid. <laughs> one clean water cart, one medicine cart can cure you of typhoid. Otherwise, you die. Cholera. Two medicine carts cure you of cholera. And food. You go hunting. It's like collect 200 pounds of rabbit and bison. That's right. It wasn't. I don't think it was deer. It was bison that you hunt. They were the good ones. Cool. Very cool. All right, look, that's about it. So this looks really awesome. Looks like you're gonna be able to build your own trail. And then along the way, you're gonna have calamity cards and you're gonna be able to play those to either help you on your trail or to thwart others on the trail. And again, it's two to six players. It's ages 12 and up. Um, retails for $10.99 at Target, uh, only at Target. Everywhere else you see on eBay or Amazon, that's all scalper price. Um, but yes, the retail price is $10.99. Very, very impressed by the Oregon Trail card game and look forward to gaining the swag to do some playthroughs with myself, Dean, Dave, and all the other cast of characters that we have on our page. So check out our review. I'll post a link on the uh, show notes to our physical review of this game. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what this has to, um, how this plays out with our friends. So, hey, listen, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Please do that for us. And check us out at GameWithSwag.com. And check us out on social media. All of the links are in the show notes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we get to play this soon. You guys take it easy. Good luck finding this one. It's going to be tough. Game on.